explain to us what the DaVinci XI is. Uh, it's the newest generation of uh, robot that we have been using since 2003 uh, in the U.S. or even earlier at some of the other uh, centers. And uh, it allows us to do surgery in multi-quadrants at the same time. Prior robots, if you imagine an individual's abdomen being this or a working area, it kind of limited you once you were working in a spot you were kind of stuck at the same spot now you can take this machine and you can move it to different segments of the abdomen which translates for us using the concept of minimal invasive surgery to many other disease states where we would have had to open patients up to do the operation. We are a tertiary medical center, we are a teaching institution, and because of that we are, I think, ahead of the curve compared to the rest of the region as well as country. So we use it for bladder cancer, we use it for kidney cancer, Our my colleagues use it for colorectal cancer surgery, uh, bariatric operations. To one cut, a small cut, you can have flexible camera, flexible arms, all of that kind of go in the belly, do whatever you need to and then come out. So from patient's perspective, that's not just, uh, everyone thinks of minimally invasive surgery as being a cosmetic benefit. But if you look at its impact on recovery, pain, discomfort, ability to go back to work, economic impact on society is just a revolutionary concept that before we were limited to a particular disease state, now we can take it across from urology, general surgery, thoracic surgery, colorectal surgery, so on and so forth. So to me and to patients of this region, it means A, we have commitment to technology, which is the leading edge technology. We have commitment to experience. We have done robotics at this institution as long as most major centers and commitment to a concept, which is the concept of minimally invasive surgery as a whole, not necessarily robotics, but across the board. And this is just another cutting edge acquisition that allows us to take care of our patients while minimizing their downside, which is any kind of pain, suffering, downtime, so on and so forth. The robotics arena has been in highlight over the last three, four years in the mass media and publics and so on and so forth. I trained at an institution where 2002 onwards we were doing robotics. So we have, the way I look at it, the programs in the country that have been successful, where they have built on the 12, 10, 12 years of experience with this technology and then gotten the latest technology. So it's the surgeon, it's the team, it's the program in place, it's the clinical pathway to make sure patients get appropriate care at all levels that separates us from uh, the usual, what I call non-tertiary, non-academic centers. On that note, I've always been a big believer in that technology at the end of the day is a tool. A program, experience, commitment, outcome, on top of that technology, what makes us unique. And we have had a track record of building a program step by step in the concept of minimally invasive treatments as a whole, this tool just gives us that much more of an edge, of an edge, and then on top of that, it allows us to deliver good care with uh, cutting edge technology, and it gives us tons of experience that we have already had. It gives us an opportunity to push it into the whole next frontier. And I, as a surgeon, am excited about it and excited for my patients, and I think it will allow us to do greater things in years to come. Absolutely fascinating. We certainly appreciate the doctors there at Erlanger for letting us come in and uh, see this robot firsthand. Of course, for more information, you can always contact the folks there at Erlanger, 423-778-LINK is the phone number. You can also go to their website and learn more about all of the great things that they have to offer at erlanger.org. Coming up next, my friend.